Hello everybody and welcome to this simple tutorial on TrainSim TV. This tutorial is just going to show you how to get what they call DAM data, which is the data for your hills from websites such as the one on the screen at the moment, into your Train Simulator 2019 installation and then into your route that you are building. So there will be links in the description to the two websites I'm going to show that you can get the uh, DAM data from and I'm going to show you the install and how you go about plotting them into your routes. So, first of all we start from this website, it's called Viewfinder Panoramas. Now this one's quite easy to use because it doesn't require you to sign in or anything like UKTS. So, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on looking at the north of England, which is this one here, N30. I'm going to click that, as simple as that, click it and just save it. Download it to wherever in your PC. Once it's downloaded, open your download, get that folder there on the screen. So you've got the you're inside the zip and then you've got the invert it and then inside the zip, inside the N30 folder you'll have all these HGT files. Get yourself onto this screen so you can see all your HGT files. And then what you need to do is go to your Railworks directory so in my case it's in my D drive but you go to Steam Library Steam Apps Common then click Railworks and then if you don't already have this DEM folder simply create it right click new and then create a folder called DEM I've already got one here within the DEM folder you need to have an SRTM folder within the SRTM folder yours will be empty but because I've been doing this a long time, mine's obviously already got stuff in it. But yours will be empty if you're just starting out doing DM. All you need to do is select all of these either by highlighting them or pressing Ctrl and A. And then drag them across. And when it says copy to SRTM, just let go. In my case I've already got them in there, but I'm going to press replace anyway. and that's the DEM data installed as simple as that your data is now installed and we're going to take a look in a minute how to get them into Train Simulator 2019 so once you've got your Train Simulator root loaded the one that you're wanting to edit fly to the location where you would like to put your DEM data and uh, in this case I've gone to Buxton just because I know that it's a hilly area I and mean, you'll be able to tell when I've actually done the insertion of the DM data. So once you're happily loaded in and you're ready to put the data in, you press the painting tools button. Then you need to press the import button on the second line. And then on this screen, it's up to you entirely what you choose here. These are the tile areas. Now a tile is, a single tile is what you can see here within the white lines. I can't actually remember exactly how wide they are, which I'll find out now. Around a thousand metres across. So this is one tile here that you can see. Then you can see there's other tiles around those red boxes there, all the other tiles around us. So if we click on again the import tool, we need to make sure we've got SRTM ticked for the format because that's where our source folder is. It's DEM slash SRTM. Just correct. Make sure that's in the box there. And then for an area, because we've not actually got anything else in this area already, we're going to do a nice big one which is 19 by 19. Um, if you were just wanting to do the dem on this tile, you would press one by one. Let's say you'd worked on this tile, but you, you could see the end of your DEM data somewhere over there. And you thought, well, I need to add it over there. You would go over there and you would put it on, but you would probably say select one by one or three by three if you're near an area you don't want to affect. In this case, we want to do this whole area, so we're going to press 19 by 19, then import the terrain data. Just give it a moment. It might need a few seconds. And you can see now we're miles underground because the DEM data has gone on. So don't be afraid, obviously. All you have to do is go up which is control and the up arrow the quickest way and hold shift as well and now you can see we have got 
pills everywhere. Exactly as you would expect. Now the important thing to remember the dem tool is that if you've modified the scenery on the tiles nearby and you select say 19 by 19 you're going to notice it suddenly disappear because you'll have selected it over that whole area. So let's say we want to for instance, just flatten this area off here. We're going to make a big hole in the ground there. Let's pretend that we've been working in this area but we want to do some dem data over here. If we want to do demo data here and not affect that tile where the big hole is, we would simply do one by one so that we only do this tile that we're on. Same for any of these tiles around. If you get a little bit further away, obviously, you can do a three by three from here. For instance, you could do a three by three and not affect a three by three, and you don't affect your hole or your area that we're working in, sorry. If I wanted to get rid of that hole and just go back to bare DM data, all I do is, as we're quite close to it, just do a 9x9, nine nine, import the DM data, and there you go, the hole has disappeared. Remember that if we'd been working on something important in that area and I'd just done that, we'd have just lost all his work. You can, of course, if you do that, press Ctrl and Z, and you can undo it. You cannot redo it then. Afterwards, you have to do back to import the terrain data again. So that's a simple tutorial on how to get the dem data into the game. It is really quite an easy thing to do. Once you get used to it, you've just got to remember that if you've already worked in an area nearby and you want to do tiles just here, and you don't want to affect scenery just over there, remember to do it on one by one or three by three. If you start doing it by five by five onwards, you're going to start affecting a big area, especially if you're doing 19 by 19 you're going to be affecting 19,000 meters squared essentially of terrain data and that's quite a big block of land. Hopefully that can help you.